let's have a look at some matchstick patterns. I've built a pattern out of matchsticks. And the question I want to answer is, how many matchsticks do I need to build figure 100? Let's explore the pattern a little bit first. In figure 1, I had 3 matchsticks. In figure 2, 5 matchsticks. And in figure 3, I can count them, I've got 7 matchsticks. And I can easily see that pattern, 3, 5, 7, so figure out that in figure 4, it's likely to be 9 matchsticks. And in figure 5, 11. And I could carry on like that, but I certainly don't want to spend my whole day carrying on to try and figure out what's in figure 100. So I want to observe a pattern that'll get me there more easily. And if I just pull my figures apart a bit like this, I can see the pattern quite easily. Have a look in figure one. I've got one matchstick and these two to complete the triangle. So it's one plus two. Now look what happened when I go to figure two. I've obviously still got that one matchstick. And in this case, of course I've got those two, but then I've got another two that I added on. So I've got two lots of two. And in figure three, I've still got that one matchstick. But in this case, I have got the one two that I had, and then another two. So I've got one, two, three lots of two. And if I were to imagine figure four, I would still have that one matchstick, which I've put in here already. Um, but then in this case, I would be adding on one, two, three, and then another one, four lots of two. So it would be four times two. And that pattern I can now see allows me to answer this question because what would happen by the time I got to 100, I'd still have that one little matchstick that we start with. But then every time I'm going to be adding on the 2, right? So in this case, when you get to 100, I'm going to have added on 100 lots of 2. And so the number of matchsticks will be 201. But there's nothing special about 100. I could have asked the question, how many would I need for um, pattern number, figure number 250? Well, in that case, I would still have the 1, but then I would have 250 lots of 2, and so my answer in that case would be 501. And then we can take this all the way to algebra. If we look at how many there would be in figure n, where n stands for any whole number, then we would have to do 1 matchstick plus n lots of 2. And to write that nicely algebraically, it'll be 1 plus 2n. OK, here's a new pattern I've built. And this time I want you to try this. So what you need to figure out for me is how many matchsticks I need to build figure in. Pause the video and try this for yourself. Hopefully it was quite easy for you to see that every time that you went to build a new pattern, you added on three more matchsticks, right? You can see those three being added on. So you can then easily establish the pattern. You're adding on three. So you start with two of them sitting like that, and you add on three. Then for figure two, it's you start with that, and now you've got those ones, but now you add on another three, so it's two lots of three. And then for figure three, you start with that, but then this time you've got those two, and then a third one, three lots of three. So for figure four, it'll be those two plus four lots of three. For figure 10, two plus 10 lots of three. So for figure n, it will be two plus n lots of three, which we can write nicely algebraically as three n plus two.